All right, guys, this is the furnace and the AC coil that we have for the Caprons. The access, this is a, one of the kids' bedrooms. I'm going to let you know that. But we do have two huge doors on both sides to take out the system. So it should be a pretty easier or easier removal than normal, you know, for you guys. And you guys just go right out there and then up the stairs on the right. Um, but for this guy, we have the existing line set and everything up here built into the ductwork. We have three inch PVC going out just for the exhaust. It's pulling fresh air from within this giant area and these are all slitted so it's pulling fresh air from this entire enclosed area. Um, the only thing else that's sharing air with this guy is gonna be the tankless water heater that they have. Um, and we should be able to pull the water lines for the um, dial and control humidifier from here as well and we do even also have some fresh air coming right here so it should be more than enough air supply for this guy um, it's got a 10 by 30 cold air return and i'm thinking the easiest way for the humidifier would probably be on this side because you got 30 inches and you guys can put it anywhere that would be good on the cold air return side um, the thing that we do want to do in special notes that I want to make you guys aware of is we do want to get rid of this condensation line. Um, and basically just, if we can either route it behind the furnace and around, just because this filter rack that we have right here, it's really hard for him to pull out. He has to disassemble the entire thing. And I don't want that to be an issue for him in the new system. So if we can just either route that around back, the floor drain is directly right sorry it's a little hard to see but directly right there so not too far and it's just going to take a little bit more pvc that we can run it to um you guys have a lot of space to work with it is about 18 inches or 17 and a half inches for this guy um wide all the way from i'm sorry even top to bottom all the way up to the ac coils i believe about 77 78 inches you guys got plenty of space to work with and you guys shouldn't even need that big of a coil um the other things i want to note so that's the first special one the second one is we just want to move this because the kids <laughs> turn it off and on and they're because this was an old furnace we're like oh no the furnace is out but just just move this if we can either up here up here on the cold air, or if we can do it on the wall, that would work too, if you can find a stud. Just some way that it's a little bit out of the way for the kids. And I want you guys to do the same thing with the humidistat. We are gonna keep their existing um, thermostat because they just put it in about a year ago, they're happy with it, and we, just, we don't need to change anything with that. So that's roughly everything, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but it should be a good one for you.